geothermal energy is heat that is derived from groundwater that is heated through the volcanic activities well below us. The, the heat is transferred to our downtown uh, district heating loop and then that heat then is drawn off by our customers to heat their buildings. I'm Randy Travis. I work for the City of Klamath Falls Water Division and Geothermal Utility. And my job is to make sure that our geothermal system is operating under normal conditions, supplying both space heat to 23 commercial customers and sidewalk and uh, bridge snowmelt systems. It pretty much looks like this regardless of the, uh, the temperatures outside, regardless of the amount of snow on the ground that has fallen. Little plastic tubes running back and forth underneath the concrete slab, radiating heat keep the sidewalks mostly free of snow ice. We've got our Klamath Union High School, so there's school buses throughout the day. There's also the uh, high school students who are driving their cars up and down this uh, incline and across the bridge. So our street crews do not have to worry about plowing this. We have two wells which are located about a mile east of here. Those wells are down into the geothermal aquifer. Water ranges in temperature from about 210 up to 220. Those wells pump water down to this facility, which is our heat exchange facility. This is the supply from the well. And if this was operating, this uh, temperature gauge would be reading somewhere in the neighborhood of 210, 215 degrees. That water is then circulated through the heat exchanger. And the geothermal water then, once it leaves these heat exchangers, it's re-injected into the geothermal aquifer so that we're not depleting the resource. The heat is transferred through these heat exchangers and comes out and through these three pumps and then out into the system. It goes out of this building at about 190 degrees. The customers then have service taps off of the, the main line, similar to a water service then they use that water in smaller heat exchangers, remove that heat in order to heat their buildings. So it's pumped out of here, circulated through our downtown core area, and returns to us. This is a closed loop, so it's just basically a big circle. Geothermal heat is 100% uh, efficient. 100% of the heat goes to your heat demand, whether it's space heat or process heat, for all intents and purposes, a renewable resource. Again, we're re-injecting this back into the geothermal aquifer. A good portion of the people that live on this ridge behind you have their own private geothermal systems and they heat their homes. Well, we're fortunate in that we have this available to us. Not something you can do everywhere in the country. You've got to have that geothermal source. It's kind of neat that it's unique and we get a lot of interest from around the country and around the world.